What's up guys? If you don't have a projector yet, but want to give it a try without spending a lot of money, I have an option for you. This is a mini projector from Artsy. You can buy it for only $50 on Amazon. This is probably the cheapest projector I have tested. So I'm very interested to see how it performs. Let's start with unboxing. So on the box we can see that this is a mini Bluetooth projector. It has the model name Q5. Inside the box there is a projector itself, as well as another package with accessories, such as remote control, power cable, HDMI cable, and even a cleaning kit. There is also a user manual and a quick start guide in the box. You know, I wasn't expecting much from a $50 projector, but so far I like it. The Art CQ5 is a mini projector because it is very compact, but it is not portable because it doesn't have a built-in battery. Its dimensions are 170 by 130 by 65 mm. The weight is only 640 grams. You can easily carry it from one room to another or take it from home to your friend's office or wherever. You know it has right angles, so it looks more like an office projector. The lens on the front looks huge against the main body. I like that it has a lens cover to keep dust out when you are not using the projector. There is also an IO receiver on the front panel. On the back we can see a headphones jack, HDMI port, USB port and another IR receiver. There is also a small speaker here. We will check its quality a little later. The power connector is on the side. If you look at the bottom, we can see four rubber feet here, as well as a tripod mount. Finally, the projector has a control panel at the top with power on off, navigation, return and input source buttons. You can also use this wheel to adjust the focus. As for keystone correction, we are in for a surprise. We will talk about it a bit later. The remote control for this projector is pretty simple, but I like that it's made of matte plastic. It feels very nice in the hand. You know, I am even a little surprised by this projector because it looks very nice and it is made pretty well for its ultra-budget price. Now let's turn it on. First, we need to adjust the focus manually. Just spin the wheel until the picture is clear. The home screen has movie, music, picture and text sections. However, you can only access them when USB flash or storage hard drive is inserted. Then we can go to the settings menu. There are Bluetooth settings here, but we will check it out a little later. In the display settings, you can change the image mode from standard, dynamic, mild and user. If you select user mode, you can manually adjust contrast, brightness, color and sharpness. And there are color temperature modes available. Do you remember I told you the surprise? It is that the projector has automatic keystone correction. The Amazon product page and user manual doesn't say anything about this. So it was a big surprise to me. And you know, it really works. Maybe not as fast as on more expensive projectors, but it still works. Fantastic to see an automatic keystone correction on a $50 projector. Going back to the display settings, you can change aspect ratio and zoom level. The system settings include OSD language, projection mode, default source, factory reset, upgrade, auto sleep, OSD timer and video delay. Another feature of this projector is the iOS casting. There is no Wi-Fi support, so you need to use an original power cable. Unfortunately, I couldn't try screen mirroring because I have a lightning to USB-C cable, while well, the projector only has a USB-A port. When it comes to Bluetooth connection, there is no problem with that. I easily connected my earbuds, but you can also connect an external speaker to the projector. However, I think the built-in speaker would be enough for a small room. You can listen to a few songs.
By the way, the projector is actually not very noisy. It is about 50 decibels near the projector. And 45 decibels at 1 meter. However, the problem is that the projector gets very hot, especially at the bottom. It is definitely not a good idea to block the vents on the sides. So I decided to connect my laptop to the projector, but you can also connect a TV stick, game console or just a USB flash drive. The caption at the bottom of the projection says the resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. However, it is a supported resolution. The native resolution of this projector is 720p. The image is quite blurry around the edges, and we can see individual pixels at close range, but the text is still readable. Keep in mind that this is a $50 projector. From a distance, the picture looks really good, don't you agree? By the way, this is a projection screen size of about 80 inches at a distance of 2.5 meters from the wall. The maximum screen size of this projector is 200 inches. The colors are quite rich and vibrant. There is no information about the brightness of this projector, but I think it is around 150 ANSI lumens. This is enough for watching videos in a dark room. By the way, you might want to buy this projector for cats, and animation movies are really nice to watch on it. Unfortunately, the projector is not really suitable for use in a room with light. You can see the projection though, so you can if you want. I can show you some more videos in a dark room. state area two nights ago a list containing the identities of every u.s spy was stolen Back so off on that ball screen. 
Atalanta. You know, I didn't expect anything from this projector, but it had a few surprises in store for me. First, I like the compact size of this projector, as well as its design and build quality. I was very surprised to see the automatic keystone correction in this projector. However, the focus has to be adjusted manually. Unfortunately, I didn't have a chance to test screen mirroring, because I don't have a cable, but the manufacturer claims it can be done on iOS and Android devices. In addition, you can connect Bluetooth headphones or an external speaker to the projector. You know the image looks pretty good for such a compact projector. Perhaps the only thing that confuses me is that the projector gets very hot. Maybe it is because I am having really hot weather right now. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon!